control will soon be available on drugstore shelves. The FDA just approved the first pill over the counter. So we sat down with a nurse practitioner about what medical information you need to know. I am joined by Jenny Singletary. She is a family nurse practitioner with the Parkside OBGYN here in Greenville. And she's here to talk to us about a birth control pill that was just approved over the counter. It was just approved by the FDA and just a few little snippets about this. As of right now, there's no age limits on those who can buy this medication, but we're not sure at what point it'll actually be available on shelves or how much it will cost. That may be up to the manufacturer. So thank you, Jenny, for joining us today. Hi, thank you. And what can you tell me about this medication? What should people know? I believe the pill it's called um, O pill. So, what should people know about that? Yeah, so um, the O pill is actually a progestin only form of birth control. So, most of us, when we think of birth control, especially a birth control pill, what's typically on the market is a combination birth control pill. So, most of them are going to have progestin and estrogen in them. So, this is unique in the sense that it only has progestin, so there's no estrogen in it. And so, for this, you won't need a prescription, as I mentioned, um, no age limits, but um, can you tell me a little bit about the history of this medication? I understand the ingredient in it was actually approved in 1973, right? Yes, that's right. So the original FDA approval for this medication under the name of Norgestrel was um, 1973. Of course, it was a prescription medication at that time. And it's not new to have a progestin-only form of birth control on the market. There are several that we use every day in our practice right now. Um, there are different healthcare conditions that people would need an estrogen-free form of birth control for. Breastfeeding moms would need estrogen-free. Anybody who has a sensitivity or contraindication to estrogen has been using progestin only forms of birth control for years. So neither the medicine nor the idea is something new. The only thing new about this is that it would be over the counter as opposed to needing a prescription. All right. And is there any people that should not be taking this medication? The only contraindication I've read so far would be anybody with a history of breast cancer. Okay. And what about any side effects people should know about? Um, common side effects, again, that would be anybody that's taking a progestin-only form of birth control, something that we would anticipate you seeing would be maybe some irregular spotting or bleeding. Um, sometimes there will be headache. With any medication, you could have dizziness or nausea, increased appetite, some abdominal pain, cramps or bloating. I think probably the big things that I would want to make sure people know when to seek care, um, if they notice that they're having bleeding after intercourse, if they're having prolonged or heavy bleeding, or certainly if they suspect a pregnancy, would want to take a pregnancy test. Um, I think it is very important to mention that this is not an emergency contraception. It does not work at all like plan B, and it can't be used to prevent a pregnancy after intercourse. So it truly is birth control in the same sense that we all think of a preventive birth control. Okay, and one last question before we go. Um, I know other medications, when you take birth control, they can sometimes impact the effectiveness of it. So are there any medications that could hinder the effectiveness of this birth control? Sure. Um, anything that's going to lead to a delayed gastric emptying. So anything that slows down your GI tract or digestion is going to have an impact on that. Anything that's a binding agent. So if you're taking medication that has a tendency to bind to other medications, then that would certainly slow down and, and basically make this less effective. What would be an example of that? Um, so there actually are several um, diabetic medications that are popular on the market right now that have an impact on delayed gastric emptying. So that would be something to have a conversation with a healthcare provider about. If you're being prescribed a medication, whether it's for diabetes or for gastrointestinal issues that's slowing your digestion, you would wanna have a conversation about with, with the person prescribing you that medicine. So even if you decided to take this over the counter, if you're receiving any kind of prescription medication from a doctor, you would wanna make sure that they know you're taking this so that it doesn't affect the effectiveness of the birth control and it doesn't affect the effectiveness of the other prescription medicines that you're on. All right, Jenny, thank you so much for joining us and um, yeah, absolutely. with some helpful information for people once that does become available on this store shelves. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.